Raspberry Pi, Alarm System and Clock United. Yeah, um, I made two videos, one about the Raspberry Pi clock and one about the alarm system and now I fused both, both codes together and now I have a Raspberry Pi clock that also acts as an alarm system. Um, yeah, the alarm system went down for a strange reason and what I found out is that the SD card was full. So let's take a look at DF human readable and we see that on yeah that on the root file system we have 2.6 uh, gigabytes of 3.6 uh, gigabytes used. The problem was that this SD card was really full so I removed a lot of uh, apps and so on, like Wolfram Alpha, Minecraft Pi, Sonic Pi, and so on. And the reason why the thing got so full is the apt cache. So, lots of Debian packages that are um, already installed were in the apt cache, and I think the log files of Raspberry Pi did the rest. So, now I fixed it by removing a lot of stuff and this should be enough to work um, yeah again to show some of the demonstrations I can for instance go into the baby mode of the alarm system and yeah I hear uh, little sound for my baby to sleep and now I can uh, activate the alarm now I have also attached a second door to the alarm system so it's a seal let's open it and we hear the alarm so now Let's go back into the bell mode, which is very useful for me, at least. Yeah, the rest is this cable. Yeah, goes down the wall and then along these um, edges, and then goes down there to my other door.